Antifa! Shit, man, we out here protesting because this shit got me fucked up. We out here doing our thing. Oh, God. Hello, my name is Zach Moss, and I am a protester in Portland, and today I'm going to be reacting to the All Gas, No Breaks' is coverage of the Portland protest. I'm a little nervous about what I'm going to see. A-C-A-B, all cops are bastards! 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 I'm surprised they can push that fence over. That literally was there, so people couldn't push it over. It goes built. What's going on, man? You know, just hanging out, feeling pretty hyped up, you know. Why are you doing this? I have nothing better to do. This is literally how to kill a movement in one sentence. Have a white dude come out and say he's got nothing better to do. No, Black Lives Matter, dude. Fuck Trump. It's all wrong. That's deep. It's all wrong. Essentially. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Fuck Ted Wheeler! All captured bastard! Fuck you! This is my city! Not there! This is Portland! What is this, a fucking 300 cosplay? Come on, man. Oh my god. Trying to get the feds out of Portland, Oregon? How come? Because they're fucking bitches and we don't want them here. They fucking rule us, they protect tyrants and oligarchs. We're just fucking slaves. I believe black liberation will lead to everybody's liberation. And I hate the fucking feds and the police. We appreciate black lives and we want them to flourish. Abolish police, abolish prison. See, the problem that I have with a lot of the people that go down there with myself is that there's, they have like the best platform. They have, this guy has like 1.7 million followers or whatever the fuck it is. And you can't say anything of policy substance. For example, hey, we want to end qualified immunity. So police officers can't spit on civilians and get away with it. They can be sued. Or, hey, we want more civilian oversight over the police department because only a fraction of the grievances against police officers are actually fully investigated. But no, they're just like, the police and that's it. We can't give peace if y'all ain't giving it to us, so we gonna take it. Take it. And that's that. period. That. Most of my family didn't die because of these police. I'm not taking it no more. The federal uh, agents have been deployed to Portland and have been snatching people up, taking them into vans, dropping them off in various locations. Our main demand has been to defund the police. Most of the calls that they get are mental distress and they're sending people that are trained to shoot first. We need people that are that are mental health experts. So actually, that's a good point. So the police officers have 110 hours of self-defense and shooting training and only eight hours of conflict management training. Now we can have the debate about like self-defense is that, do you really need that much time? Okay, fair enough if you think so, but why is it only eight hours of conflict management when that's the very thing that takes you out of conflict and make sure you don't have to use self-defense? Food for thought. What we have to do is slowly start treating the roots of the problems, things that actually cause crime like education, wealth de redistribution, mental health. Yes. Oh, that's just a firework, yo. Portland, we getting lit. It's already <laughs> cool. We oh want PPP defunded by 30%. I'd like to see the police cut by 75%, eventually working to 100. Okay, but again, maybe the clip just cut out early, but what are you going to have replace the police, okay? These are things that you might want to bring up when having these conversations with an individual like this. Now, I get it. Again, the, the clip might get cut, but the reason why this drives me crazy as somebody in media is that a lot of times the clip is cut there because they don't have anything else to say. It's like, okay, so you're going to abolish the police, but then what? Then, then what? Okay, we can have a debate all day long about whether or not we agree with this guy, but you should have at least some sort of policy in hand so you could say, well, I don't support this, but I want to support this very specific thing that we could enact. Anyway. You should read with Wilson Gilmore. You should read Angela Davis. Abolition is present. Firework. It is not absent. <laughs> Firework. Man, we out here protesting because this shit got me fucked up. We out here doing our thing. Oh, God. This guy's got the critical thinking skills of a sorority chick that had one too many white claws. And by one too many, I mean one and a half. We out here for Black Lives Matter. You don't stand for this shit. Take your punk asses home. Fuck the feds. The feds just started coming out of the federal building. Then they just started fucking everyone else up. It's retaliation o'clock. They're terrorists. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, I think um, I know her. It's a, uh, you know, check your watch. It's retaliation o'clock. <laughs> 
<laughs> the thing that nobody knows is that there's like a cold war between the leaf blower barbecue dads and the police officers where a lot of people know that leaf blowers were enacted to blow the smoke away, but the police officers had no clue how to deal with it. So they stole the protesters leaf blowers and then they blew it back. So it was like blowing gas this way, blowing gas this way. So they're all like battling it out. These barbecue dads with their damn tucked in shirts and then these fully armored police officers with a bright pink leaf blower. It was just one of those like perfect moments. Antifa! Dude, if your dad's a cop, like, fucking punch him in the face. At least 50 times. You never met, like, a sick-ass cop? A skateboarder type? <laughs> tiger cop? Oh, no. Never met a sick-ass cop. Every single you person I know is in tear gas, before. my mom got tear gassed. Fuck him. Abolish him. I, I got tear gassed, like, six times. people out more than their pockets getting touched. You get a pocket check That's true. Feds. If I can. Do you want your face blurred in this interview? No, I'm good. How come? So I'm gonna fuck. They think they fighting for their country? I'm fighting for my country too. Fuck 12, eat my goddamn ass, and suck these nuts. Imagine for a second that you were the family member of somebody who fell victim of a police uh, killing, and you're looking around for help, and you see this dude in Portland, Oregon. This is why I'm making this video. It's these people that give us the bad optics, and it's hard to pass literally anything when you got heads like this go home dude drink a freaking bud light and chill and watch these videos don't show up this is federal government encroaching upon our first amendment rights and our liberty they really don't care last Thank night you. the mayor of portland was here and they still gas i apologize for having to stop this so many times ted wheeler showed up and there's like international news coverage because it's like oh my god the portland mayor got gassed too He's the police commissioner and the mayor. That's unique to Portland. He knew he was getting gassed. That was the point. He didn't do anything for police reform. He didn't do anything following this. And so this was just a photo session and we all knew it. If he really wanted to have them stop, he would have them stop. Tear gas is internationally legal. We can't even do that against ISIS. The dude showed up because he had to show up. This wasn't like, a, oh, look at him. He's trying. He ain't trying. How does that meet de-escalation? It's clearly a precursor to just an authoritarian regime. Being out here, I would say it's patriotism at its finest. They need to know what the fuck the right side of history is. Fuck a fascist state. I love it. I actually love it. This is like a, a Portland moment right here. You got a random white dude with pajamas and a wife beater on busting a move who's probably on however many drugs I probably wish I was on before I started filming this video while hell's breaking loose. <laughs> I'm in a frat and I got tear gas. We're in a frat. We got tear gas. Bruh, we know you're in a frat. You didn't have to tell us. Kappa Sigma, baby! I'm standing in a cloud of tear gas. Fuck you. Sorry. Armed mobs of Joe Biden voters. None of us supported Joe Biden. Torched buildings, smashed cars, attacked police officers. They were surrounded and apparently assaulted by 150 Joe Biden voters dressed in black paramilitary gear. They hurt people, a lot of people. Now, on a scale of one to 10, how stoked are you guys about presidential candidate Joe Biden? One. Zero. Absolutely <laughs> fucking zero. He has um, an affinity for uh, fucking children. So do you guys plan to vote for Trump instead? I'm gonna vote for anarchy. So I've heard the right wing media talk about how everyone down here is anarchist, and then I've heard the left wing media talk about how everyone down here is simply peacefully protesting, and I, I think there's a mix of both. The full story is that there's protesters mixed in, protesters mixed in with people trying to create violence. I've been here for the last five nights. That's this true. Is gonna go on That's all a good night, point. Back and Thank forth. you. The president of the NAACP in Portland says that the focus is getting off of black lives. The media, obviously, you have, you do have some people involved who are obviously causing violence. There's also people who are showing up just to, just to cause violence. And there's also people who are showing up just for the sake of attention. We only came here to get naked. He got naked, sexy, he got butt ass naked. He probably saw his dick on fucking orgy. black television. Our objective is to bring all of us together. Black lives, And bring Indian, black lives to the front, the South forefront. American. See, this is like one of those classic examples where somebody doesn't know shit about policy and they're just showing up to get attention. It's like, he could have said, anything that would have better helped the situation than literally that he could have been like hey guys i actually support black lives and that's for the reason that i want to redistribute money towards education because in oregon 
uh, schools that have a higher percentage of people of color generally have lower rates of graduation because of the fact that they struggle with school due to, you know, poverty and these other things. Like, these are things that they could have mentioned, but instead they're like, we want to get naked. If you're white, you don't get to decide when you want to break shit. You don't get to decide when it's time to protest, when it's time to march, or when it's time to do whatever. You don't know what that Thank feels you. like. You don't know what it feels like to watch George Floyd die. So if you're a white anarchist, shut the fuck up. Everybody has indigenous ancestors. You know, the Vikings are my indigenous ancestors. And those guys were straight anti-fascists. Anyone tried to colonize them, they got fucked they up. They were the colonizers. I mean, they were anarcho-primitivists, right? So They, they were the colonizers. God, this is why we have bad optics, guys. Society's like this right here. This is all people out here rewilding themselves. The world's constantly trying to rewild. And of course, the colonizer paradigm's gonna do exactly what it does to a field when it's trying to rewild. It's gonna hit it as hard as it can. It's gonna use its gas. And guess what? We are stronger than that fucking gas. I play the trumpet in that fucking gas. You know what I mean? All this is nuts. We gotta just burn it to the ground, build a new world out of the ashes. So drop your fucking badge. You wanna put your hands on me? Let's do it right here, toe to toe, motherfucker. Not with all your fucking thug bodies around it. That's what I say to the fucking feds. Yeah, everyone hates the government, but if it's not about black lives, you shouldn't be down here and you shouldn't be with this fight because it's, we're not fighting just with the cops. We're fighting for black liberation, for black people to live, for black people to have education. That's what this is about. Fuck conservatives, fuck liberals. Thank you. Fuck Democrats. Fuck Republicans, you have to vote for the people. I know there's somebody out there who's probably a little confused, like, wait, F Democrats, what are you talking about? Yeah, most of the people who show up here don't align with Republicans or Democrats. We don't like either branch. So like the whole like Joe Biden radical left, that that's not a thing, dude. Joe Biden's a moderate Republican. So like, what do you want me to do here? Fuck you. Fuck you. You piece of shit. That guy's drunk, by the way. You're yep. a piece of shit. You're like 100% a piece of shit. Where my grandma used to live was like the most gentrified area in Portland. It was on 16th and Alberta. She had a house and they moved it out and now it's an art gallery. And now they have signs in the wall. It's like, we support George Floyd, like justice for George Floyd. And it's like, where was that justice for my grandma, like that black woman that she pushed out of her home? That's actually a great point. So Alberta district was a district where it was largely a community with uh, people of color. And then it was one of those like situations, classic gentrification, where these like white older people who have a lot of money were like, oh, I want a cute little coffee shop over here. Let's go put a cute little bar over here in some, like she said, art gallery. And then so then that pushed all these people out of their communities. And then they end up having to go to locations like Powell Street, which is where I used to live which is no joke. It's kind of sad to see the neighborhood that I grew up in be unrecognizable and to kind of feel like a ghost in a home of your own. And we hate to say it, but we do need white people because they are the ones who are in positions of power. Money, petitions, um, getting voting. into your city council, voting. The upcoming election is very important. I think everybody needs to vote. Well, that was, uh, that was something. So overall, my problem with some of the protesters that are showing up is that they're not actually educating themselves on the topic. And so when they have this this opportunity to be able to get in front of a camera and talk about our cause. Rather, instead, they're trying to say, for example, throw out random meaningless jargon as opposed to saying, hey, 40 to 60 percent of the police force nationally don't have body cameras and that's something that we want. Hey, we should have increased community oversight over the police system. Hey, maybe we should end civil immunities for police officers so they can't beat up a protester and not be held personally liable for that. There's uh, police officers who have 110 hours of uh, shooting practice and self-defense, but only eight hours of conflict management, which would be the thing that actually stops the shootings. But these are things that we could actually talk about as opposed to trying to get naked or be like, I got nothing better to do. And that is why I'm trying to create this video right now. Overall, maybe next time people will be a little bit more educated about what exactly we should do. And therefore, all gas, no brakes might have a little less to talk about next time. Who knows?